Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Libra, this is the first out of three spreads, the Beware spread. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the King of uh, Wands, clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. We have the Six of Wands, and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Um, this King of Wands is coming back, right? And they broke your heart in the past. And I think, at least in the past, this person was all about what's good for them, what gives them pleasure, it was all about themselves. And they're coming back and uh, they're planning to win you back. Okay? So, uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't look good so far, unless this person changed, like in a big, major way. Right? The six of ones right next to the deck. It's a card of victory, or it's a card of overcoming something. So that's something. So that uh, six of ones could play out as them waltzing right in, back into your life, wanting to win you back, or perhaps the six of ones they took care of a whole bunch of issues. They've overcome them. Perhaps they took counseling. They went to rehab. They did this. They did that and um, overcame that. The devil on the bottom of the deck is the personal Capricorn card or um, it could be the issues the king of wands had in the past addictions, bad habits or their own toxicity, perhaps uh, their lifestyle or their belief system was very toxic. Like I said, this person you at least used to be all about themselves, all about what makes them happy. right? Or the devil is still uh, what they represent themselves right now, right? A very toxic individual, a very attractive individual, somebody who is hard to resist, but still very toxic for you, Libra. Right? And uh, like I said, this person broke your heart in the past. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups, all the way to your left. The Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart, and I think that's your heart. Right? And uh, all of this is because of the Nine of Cups, right? The Nine of Cups clarifying it. In this case, it's all about uh, someone's satisfaction and fulfillment, and I believe it belongs to the King of Wands, right? So the King of Wands, the next card over, is uh, either a fire sign, or is or Sagittarius, or somebody who is fiery, passionate, perhaps a bit narcissistic, you know? Somebody who likes to be in the spotlight. And uh, the King of Wands is clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Page of Pentacles is an apology and also something tangible, something you can touch, right? So they may apologize to you and also give you a gift, right? Or they may come back and say, hey, I've got these uh, tickets to this concert, to this show. Would you like to join me? It could be both, you know, something tangible, a gift and, and a couple of tickets. And again, with the six of ones, like I said, they could have conquered what the, the, whatever issues they had, or they are cocky. They think they can just waltz right back into your life and win you over. Right? So, yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. All right, Libra, so here's the advice for you. Um, this is from your perspective. This is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. We have the Moon clarified by the Knight of Wands, we have the Tower, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Seven of Wands, and we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You can still be dealing with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A very straightforward advice for you, um, Libra, chase this person out of your life, for good. Chase them in a way that they remember it, <laughs> not to ever come back. Yeah, um, the knight, see we got two knights, right? The knight of ones, the first card on the left is the person you're dealing with. It's that same person as we saw in the first spread with that king of ones. It's that same person, right? The moon is the personal Pisces card, by the way. But uh, the moon is, um, one of the interpretations of the moon card is secrets, right? So this person is definitely hiding something from you. They're hiding their true uh, agenda or their true identity. This person is still a player and they're definitely up to no good. We have the tower in the middle. Uh, in this case, if you are to allow this person back into your life, it'll 
come crumbling down to the ground all over again. All right? And therefore, the rest of the spread, the remaining three cards to the right from the tower, this is the advice. Um, the Empress on the bottom of the deck, that's you. You're sitting back on your throne. It's actually one of your cards. It's, you share this card with the Taurus, I believe. Um, yeah, that's you. You're doing great. You're sitting back on your throne. You're very relaxed. You know your worth, right? And with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands right next to the deck, this is you chasing them out of your life. And I think you're going to get furious uh, with this person, right? And the Knight of Swords out of all four knights is the knight that tends to get into fights, right? You see how that person in the Knight of Wands, they've got their sword out, they're charging ahead. And to me personally, that person looks... Uh, pissed off <laughs> and the seven of wands this is you fighting them off this is you um, standing your ground right so yeah the advice for you is to uh, and you see how even the directions of the knights are very appropriate you're chasing them they're they're trying to get away from you um, don't get physical Libra please don't <laughs> you know words is as uh, words are our best weapon Okay, <laughs> so keep that in mind. All right, so we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is the next good thing um, that'll happen to you in the near future. Libra right here, spread number three. This is the next good thing that'll happen to you that'll at least put a smile on your face. And I have a feeling it's going to be more than just a smile on your face, or it's going to be lots and lots of smiles. <laughs> anyway. We've got the Magician clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups clarified by the Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Sun, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, or perhaps even another Libra, or any Zodiac sign. I clarified every single card hoping to see a court card, Libra. To be honest with you, that's exactly why I clarified it, because it was already looking good. <laughs> Right, then uh, the Sun is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with a lot of Leo in their chart. The Magician could also be interpreted as a particular zodiac sign, but I don't usually do this. Anyway, what's coming towards you is a commitment. There is no other way to interpret that. You could meet this person at a party or an event or a gathering or a concert or a show of some sort. Right, a wedding. If you're going to a wedding, you could be meeting this person there. Uh, but overall, this is a commitment. Justice on the bottom of the deck, that is your card, Libra. That's you. Unless you're dealing with another Libra, right? The Magician is the person entering your life. They're bringing the Ace of Pentacles along with them, right? The Magician is a card of manifestation and it's also a card of action. So this person will be taking action towards you, all kinds of action. Perhaps this person will have uh, quite a few things lined up to take you to a particular restaurant, to take you to a particular uh, park for a walk, you know the whole nine yards <laughs> and uh, the ace of pentacles is um you know this card often comes through as a proposal and with the ten of cups also being here i don't think they're going to propose to you in july but this is definitely a commitment is definitely on the horizon for you with this person the ace of pentacles is a very serious offer this card always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down ready to start a family ready to get serious then we have the three of cups clarified by the ten of cups the three of cups is that party or event or a gathering you could be meeting this person at or perhaps this is a card of reunion right so you'll be really happy to unite with this person and celebrate something called love and something called life <laughs> and the commitment right the ten of cups clarifying the three of cups is a card of a commitment or marriage it's it's the happily ever after card it's a family card if having children is still an option for you too the two of you could definitely have children together then we have the two of cups with the sun there's also a kid in uh, the sun card you see it right there uh, riding a horse so children is definitely a potential right uh, the Sun like I said is also a Leo card but in general the Sun is the happiest card in the deck this card always talks about joy success happiness feeling on top of the world and the two of cups is uh, the two of you in love with each other this is a card of a soulmate connection it's a card of unconditional love it's a card of two people seeing eye to eye two people feeling the same way towards one another Libra so yeah I, like I said, it's going to be more than just a smile on your face. It's definitely a commitment. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra, for this um, reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Libra, have an amazing July. 
And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.